In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to our channel. Together we embark on a journey illuminated by faith and the footsteps of saints. It's a joy to share with you another chapter in the lives of the extraordinary men and women who have exemplified holiness throughout history. As we delve into their stories and teachings, let's open our hearts to the wisdom and grace they offer. May their lives not only enlighten us, but also guide and inspire our own spiritual paths. Together, let's celebrate the rich heritage of our Catholic faith, drawing closer to God through the examples of His devoted servants. Thank you for joining us in this journey of faith and inspiration. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the life and virtues of St. Colette Boylet. Before we delve into her story, I kindly invite you to subscribe to our channel so you can continue to be inspired by the lives of the saints. St. Colette Boylet's story is not just a narrative of religious significance, but also a powerful example of personal conviction and the impact one individual can have on a larger community. Her life is a blend of spiritual devotion, miraculous events, and reformative action, making her an intriguing figure for a diverse audience. Saint Colette Boylet, also known as Colette of Corby, was a remarkable figure in the history of the Catholic Church, renowned for her piety, asceticism, and the miracles attributed to her. Born Nicol Bolle on January 13, 1381, in the village of Corby, France, she was the daughter of a carpenter at the Benedictine Abbey of Corby. Colette was an extraordinary child, showing deep religious fervor from a young age. Following the death of her parents when she was 17, she initially joined the Beguines and then the Third Order of St. Francis. However, Colette felt the calling for a more austere and solitary life. Thus, she became an anchoret, living in a small cell attached to the church in Corby, devoting her life to prayer and penance. Her life took a transformative turn when, in her mid-twenties, Colette claimed to have received a vision from God, instructing her to reform the poor Clares, a branch of the Franciscan order known for its strict adherence to poverty. In response, she ended her seclusion and, with the support of the Pope Martin V and a Franciscan order, set out on a mission to reform the poor Clares, restoring the original strict observance of the rule of St. Clare. Colette established new convents and reformed existing ones throughout France, Savoy, and Flanders. Her reform was characterized by strict poverty, manual labor, and a life of silence and prayer. Despite facing opposition and skepticism, Colette's dedication never wavered, and her reform successfully revitalized the order. Saint Colette is attributed with several miracles, both during her lifetime and posthumously, contributing significantly to her canonization. One of the most notable miracles associated with her involves the resurrection of a child who had drowned. According to the accounts, a child had tragically drowned in a body of water. The distraught parents brought the lifeless body of their child to Saint Colette, imploring her to intercede. Moved by their grief and faith, Colette prayed fervently over the child. In a remarkable demonstration of faith and divine intervention, it is said that the child was miraculously brought back to life. This event significantly bolstered Colette's reputation for sanctity and miraculous powers during her lifetime. After a life of service and devotion, Colette passed away on March 6, 1447, in Ghent. She was canonized by Pope Pius VII in 1807. Her legacy is not only the reform of the poor Clares, but also the numerous miracles attributed to her, both during her life and posthumously. Many devotees claim to have received favors and blessings through her intercession. Saint Colette is the patron saint of women seeking to conceive, expectant mothers, and those who have lost parents. She is often invoked for her intercession in matters concerning childbirth and the health of infants. Her feast day is celebrated on March 6. The life of St. Colette Boylet is a testament to unwavering faith, resilience in the face of challenges, and a deep commitment to the service of God and the Church. Her story continues to inspire and offer hope to many across the world. Let us now join together in prayer, 
inspired by the life of St. Colette Boilet. Heavenly Father, thank you for St. Colette, your faithful servant. Grant us courage and faith to follow her example of devotion and reform. St. Colette, guide us in our spiritual journey, strengthening our commitment to prayer and service. May her intercession bring miracles and hope. Inspire us to embrace simplicity and love and to grow spiritually. We pray for those in need of hope and healing under Colette's patronage. Help us to serve your church with humility and devotion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.